So I'd like to talk to you a bit about predictive aircraft maintenance. And I mean, everybody knows aircraft and engines have a limited lifespan. Nowadays, the problem to avoid the fact that they will fail at some point is usually by scheduling that every fixed time, every fixed amount of hours, the aircraft has to be maintained and scheduled. And disregarding in that case is completely the environmental influence and the um, operational settings. So there's a huge potential for a lot of improvement. If this improvement by prediction is successful, it will not only reduce the redundant maintenance, but it will also uh, help to completely avoid unexpected failures and reduce delays for all the people traveling. So this really has the potential to disrupt the airline industries. So why is this actually a good thing, a good setting for performing predictive maintenance? Well, first of all, airplanes already produce huge amounts of data. So you've got sensors all over the place. And you've got a huge fleet of aircraft settling out there in all different uh, conditions with different settings, different engines. So you can use all of this to train predictive models quite accurately. Um, now a few words about how we actually performed the implementation of this. So we uh, divided the project into four key components, which James is going to talk okay, you so through a bit more. Okay, so is the uh, web application we built that you can see on this screen here. Uh, the first feature is the upload, which could be used by the user to upload data in the form of a CSV containing all the aircraft sensor data. Uh, and then when that's into our database, they can then view insights and comparisons on that data. Uh, the insights shows for the selected aircraft uh, lots of different features and different things they might want to know. Uh, finally, the comparisons is used to compare between different aircrafts within the fleet. Uh, and then this graph here will show so the left hand section of each bar is the, uh, how many flight cycles since maintenance, and the right hand side is how many we predict before the new maintenance should be scheduled. So this gives them information to know which ones to schedule in which order. The server where we're running the application on is a pure Python-based implementation running the Flask framework, which is mostly concerned with acquiring the data, the data points required for doing all the graphs and gathering the prediction data, as well as managing the file uploads to introduce new data into the system. It also communicates with the machine learning pipeline, which is then responsible for taking the uploaded data and creating the predictions on when the maintenance will be required. Um, here you can see the image of the uh, database scheme we decided to work with. It's a SQL database due to the fact that we have multiple entities closely related, usually via the airplane ID. Okay, so we've used two uh, main types of model to uh, produce predictions. The first of which is a regression-based model, which produces graph like this. Uh, what this does is show for each cycle how many more cycles we would predict until uh, maintenance should be scheduled. So uh, this is useful to see a certain period of time where more or less damaging towards the aircraft's health. Uh, the other type we've used is a multi-class classification using graphs like this. Uh, one more second. And this shows how uh, over time, over the future of the aircraft, what would predict failure at different points in time. So useful to say, ah, I want to schedule this for 10 more cycles. Is this a significant risk or not? And thank you very much for listening. Thanks.